Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to quickly talk about the brand new free-to-play Metal Cooler Awakenings that just arrived on Global, and specifically, whether or not it's worth the effort to farm out and rainbow this entire team. Now, the main reason this question comes to mind is because it does take quite a bit of time and grinding to get these guys done. Because they drop as SR units initially, you'll have to Dokkan Awaken at least 5 copies of each type for the rainbow, and since they take 20 medals each to Dokkan Awaken, that's a total of 500 medals you'll have to farm for this team. And then there's the super attack grind, so that's another 14 copies of each right there. Actually, I believe there are missions that give you one copy of each type, so make that 13 copies you'll have to farm for each. But either way, you guys get the point. It's not going to be easy. But with all that said, the short answer to the question of whether or not it's worth it, in my opinion, is absolutely, man, 100% worth it. They are all very strong units and as a team are extremely fun to play with, especially for free to play units. But for anybody that needs a little bit more convincing, I actually have a few notes and calculations here from Mobile Man on the Dokkan subreddit. So first things first, when rainbowed and under dual 170% lead such as AGL Metal Cooler or Int Angel Golden Frieza, all the Metal Coolers will have an average attack of around 900,000, which is very good for free to play units. They're all pretty tanky as well. When led by dual AGL metal cooler leads, they'll have an average defense of 50,000 with tech metal cooler being the tankiest with an average defense of 56,000. Two of them really stand out. There's the STR metal cooler and the physical metal cooler. So starting with the STR one, his support passive, in addition to his own personal attack buff, allows him to generate a ton of damage for this team. So he should easily be reaching 1 million plus attack every single turn, while also making the rest of the rotation hit harder too. The physical metal cooler is actually an insane healer because he has a combination of a very solid attack buff, but also a percentage heal on his passive based on damage dealt. So if you go by his average attack, He's going to be healing an average of 136,000 HP every single turn. Of course, both of these are based on 170% leads like Angel Golden Frieza or AGL Metal Cooler. Now, obviously, these numbers will be lower if you have to use other leaders such as LR Metal Cooler Army or one of these free to play metal coolers. But even under a 30% lead, they'll still be respectable and they can easily take down any prime battle event. So moral of the story is that they're definitely worth it. They're all solid defensively and offensively, and they're a ton of fun to run. So why not? <laughs> well, that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you found it somewhat useful in some way. And as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media, signing out.